More manufacturers choose Cerakote than any other finish. Cerakote. Finish strong. Cerakote high-temperature ceramic coatings are designed for professionals and should be applied by an NIC-trained applicator or coating professional with proper training and equipment. It is critical to follow all instructions. If you have any questions, please contact NIC Industries. Phase 1 – Surface Preparation A blasted profile must be applied to the substrate to remove any rust, scale, or other coatings. Grit blasting is required to ensure maximum adhesion. Blast the parts with 100 to 120 grit aluminum oxide or garnet sand at 80 to 100 PSI. Strive for an even blast pattern over the surfaces of the parts. Glass beads are not recommended as they dimple the surface rather than etching it, which is required. If the part's surface is still shiny after blasting, you haven't blasted enough. If you use too coarse of grit, the microscopic valleys on the part surface will be too deep for the one mil coating to completely fill while covering the corresponding peaks sufficiently to assure a satisfactory coating. Don't use sand that has previously been used to clean dirty, greasy, or oily parts. Doing so will contaminate your parts. If you're using 120 grit, be sure the grit does not wear out as you're using it. 120 grit can wear to an ineffective dust after many uses. Do not touch parts with bare hands, as doing so may leave oily marks which may create defects in the finished coating. Use latex-style gloves for handling blasted parts. Phase 2 – Racking Hang or otherwise fix your parts so that you can access all the surfaces of each part with your HVLP spray gun. Metal hooks of different length are ideal for racking exhaust parts. Make sure to rack parts far enough apart so that they will not bump into each other. Phase 3 – Gas Out It is recommended but not required to heat the parts in an oven at 250 degrees Fahrenheit for approximately 30 minutes. This will evaporate and burn off any remaining moisture and oils. Phase 4 – Coating Preparation Begin by shaking the bottle until the coating is completely mixed and no solids remain in the bottom of the container. Failure to completely disperse the product will result in poor chemical ratios and product failure. Pour the coating through a disposable automotive type paint filter or a reusable filter. This is done to ensure that no contaminants will be sprayed on the finished product. Clean all containers and equipment with acetone. Final checklist before spraying. Ensure all parts to be coated are hung securely ensuring parts do not touch anything during the application process. Spray in a well-ventilated area. Wear a respirator, protective gloves, and safety glasses. MSDSs and additional safety and handling information are available at nicindustries.com. Phase 5. Spraying. Pour the Cerakote into an HVLP gun with a .8 tip. 20 to 25 PSI is the recommended air pressure for spraying Cerakote. Practice. Start spraying on a piece of white paper to adjust the spray pattern and practice your spraying technique. Spray with the gun 3 to 5 inches away from the paper and adjust the spray pattern to between 2 and 3 inches wide. Blow off parts with dry compressed air to make sure there's no trapped blasting media in holes or pockets. Sand or other media left behind will cause surface defects. Start spraying in the most difficult area of each part, then progress and finish to the easier areas. This should help you avoid runs and thin spots. When spraying, strive for even coverage. You're seeking a 1 to 2 thousandth coating thickness. Spray with sufficient volume so that the Cerakote doesn't dry spray, which is when the coating dries in the air before reaching the part. When spraying, the part should appear wet, but not so wet that it wants to run. Phase 6. Air Curing. Allow parts to air cure. Parts will be tack free in approximately 35 minutes and can be packaged or installed the same day. Keep in mind that Cerakote will reach full cure in 5 days. However, you do not need to wait the full 5 days for packaging, installation or use. For questions or comments, please contact NIC Industries at 866-774-7628.